Hi, welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Mark. We're going to talk about the basic fundamentals of bluegrass bass playing. We're going to talk about playing roots and fists. Later on in the lesson, we'll talk about simple walk-up patterns that are common in bluegrass. And we're going to center around the keys of G, D, and A. Okay, well, let's just jump right into this. Uh, let's look at our first uh, tablature, which is in the key of D. And I, I chose that because it uses all open strings. So that's the, the simplest is we're going to get. So you'll notice that we have a measure of D, a measure of G, measure of D, etc. So let's look at the tab. And I'm just going to play through it once so you can kind of see what's going on. Measure five. Okay, then there's repeat sign so that you just kind of use that as a cycle. And you'll notice that there's the D note and then the second note is the fifth uh, of, of the D chord. So it's common knowledge with a lot of bass players where you use root, fifth, root, fifth. And that's basically what we're doing. In measure one, we're going root, fifth, root, fifth. Okay, measure two is, the, is a G chord, and we're going root, fifth, root, fifth, and then back to the D. And you'll also notice that even though we're using open strings, my left hand is still doing a lot of action. And what I'm doing there is, it's kind of a nuance, but it really helps the sound of the bass playing. Um, as soon as I hit a note and I go to the next note, I use this hand to dampen the previous note. So here's an example of me not doing that and just letting the notes ring out. Everything kind of swims together, but if you play it like this, notice my left hand is working kind of hard to dampen the strings I'm not using. So that's that's kind of a nuance, and it takes a little bit of practicing, but it's pretty. It, I think it's essential to, especially when you're using open strings, and so. Then here's measure two, and back to measure one. And there's uh, also different ways you can you can use with your right hand. You can use one finger, which is fine, and you kind of want to use the meat of your finger to get a full sound. You don't want to like pull out like this. A lot of bass players tend to do that. You want to actually push down into it and get a real meaty sound. Now for me, uh, a lot of times I'll use two fingers and the reason I do that is because if ever I want to play something fast, let's say I wanted, to, I wanted to play something like this, it's a lot easier than trying to go. But that's for another lesson. I just thought I'd throw that in there. So the, the, the essence is hit the note, dampen it and hit the next note so and it just takes a little nuance so I'll play through the entire 12 bars one more time to give you kind of an example so this is in the key of D and I'll just count it off one two three four one two three four one two three four and notice how I'm dampening the strings I don't want to hear ring. So let's move on. Okay, we're going to kind of review the first section, and I want to correct myself. It's actually eight bars instead of 12. But anyway, nonetheless, let's 
play it with the jam track and uh, we're going to do it at 75 beats per minute and um, we're, I'll play along with it and you play along with it and let's see how we do and, and let's just get with the, uh, the accuracy is very important. So let's do the jam track. One, two, three, go. So in conclusion, in the key of D, we were doing it 75 beats per minute on that example. If that's too fast, I would suggest getting a metronome and turning it down even slower to 60, for example, and you would just go. But the key is to play in time with the rhythm because that's so essential as a bass player in any form of music including bluegrass so let's move on to the key of g